One day, his cancer was so intensely aggressive that his entire body was shaking with pain. That cancer was going right into the, his bones with such pain. They sat him on a chair and he was shaking. We can't imagine the pain. And I started talking to him like every other day, but I could understand he couldn't follow what I was saying because the pain was too intense. So I just began to chant this Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Because I couldn't get intellectual with him. And as I chanted, he held my hand, he was shaking like this. Everything was shaking. And he started chanting with me. Then a great miracle took place in my life. He smiled. It wasn't just a smile. It was an oceanic, blissful smile. His eyes were glistening and tears were pouring from his eyes. And all the time, whatever pain, whatever difficulties, I never saw him cry. He was crying in ecstasy, smiling and crying. He squeezed my hand and said, Swamiji, it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> I said, yeah, what do you mean? He said, we're there, we're there. <laughs> he said to me, I am tasting Krishna's name in a sweeter, more beautiful way than I've ever tasted in my entire life. He said, I would not change my position at this moment for anyone else in the entire world. He said, I know where I'm going, and I know where I am, and I know that God's with me, and I can taste him in his name. He was in ecstasy. But interestingly, his body was still trembling the same way with pain. But as Bhagavati Devi was explaining to us so nicely, in such realization, that he was experiencing Paramdristvani Vartate, something deeper, something higher. He was in total pain physically, but he wasn't suffering. He was grateful and he was happy.